A murder from over two years ago is closer to getting solved. Tonight, Hot Springs police sharing new information about the killing of 21 year old, a 21 year old woman and her five year old son. Detectives now think solving this case could help close others. THV 11 Sarah Horbakowitz shows us where the investigation stands and how a family is searching for closure. She was a good mother, good sister. He was a smart little boy. That's how Angela Alfaro remembers her sister Shaquilla Watts and nephew Xavion, both killed in their Hot Springs apartment. It's not the same without him. It was December 2020. After Shaquilla and Xavion missed a family funeral, Shaquilla's sisters got concerned and left the ceremony early to find them. I noticed her car was still there, her wallet was still in her car, and, and right then I knew something was wrong. Angela called police to come check it out. Hot Springs violent crimes detective Mark Fallis was one of the first to arrive. I went over there and found um, Shaquilla, a 21 year old female and her five year old son had been murdered in their home. Police determined Shaquilla and Xavion had been dead for two days before they were found. Years later, there's still no one in custody. She was shot to death and he was shot to his head. I mean, a gunshot to his head five years old. Who would do that? Retaliation, anger, jealous. Family and police both hanging on the hope that their current leads can help solve the case. I would not consider this a pure cold case. Uh, pure cold case is one where there's no leads, there's nowhere to go. Um, there is information slowly trickling in on this case. A year after their death, police revealed that Shaquilla and Xavion likely knew their killer. To kill a child takes something really personal, personal or just pure evil. Prompting Angela to think over the people in her sister's life. Her biological baby daddy, he recently just came back into her life to, I guess, spend time with his son and the boyfriend. He'd been in her life, but you know, they had issues. But Detective Fallis says sometimes to solve cases like this, you need to take a step back. If you only focus on the one person, you can miss the big picture. You can miss, I mean, you may miss the actual killer. I've learned not to follow people, but follow evidence. You've got to have the evidence to back up who did it to be able to get a conviction in court, and you don't want to jump to conclusions on the front end. That evidence includes Shaquilla's cell phone, originally sent off to another agency where it took months to finally unlock the data on it. See who all she was talking to and things around this time. And so, you know, tracking those people down and talking to people like that as well. But that's not the only lead police have. We have DNA evidence. We have fingerprint evidence, as well as some other evidence that I can't really disclose right now. Police believe the evidence they don't share with the public will help connect a suspect to the crime. All of this information leading police to search for answers far away from Hot Springs. I've actually traveled out of state um, several different times on this case just because that little piece of information will come in and be like, hey, we need to check this out. The distance is just one of the reasons Detective Fallis says closing Shaquilla and Xavion's case is taking so long. Do you think solving this case could help other cases? Yes. If you believe it could solve other cases, you also have to take the time to look at other cases. But the family wants more to be done, desperate for closure. This is my family. It's not your family, it's my family. It's frustrating. The only thing we can do is pray for hope. And detectives hope someone will call with information and bring them closer to justice. There are people out here who know what happened. They know the players involved. They know um, who did it. I mean, we're talking about a 21-year-old and her five-year-old son in their home. Just call me. As a family lives on without their loved ones. A five-year-old baby. 21 year old young girl trying to be a mother, trying to go to school for herself, to raise and provide for her child. What did you get out doing here? Searching for answers. It's been two years now. I don't want the case to go cold. I'm still going to fight to the end.
Hot Springs police say they're still analyzing evidence and Detective Fallis hopes to solve this case within the next year. He's also hoping that someone with information will call in. Back to you. All right, Sarah, and that leads us to this. If you have any information about who may have killed Chiquilla and Xavion, you can call the number on your screen to text or call Detective Fallis directly, and you can remain anonymous.